What's up guys, what's going on? Today we are installing a septic tank riser. Well, I'll show you how to install a riser the correct way. And as you can see, we cleared a few inches on either side of the hole. So we're going to be putting concrete around this thing. We'll take a handful and we will drop it down there. Kind of smash it in there like that. The whole idea of the concrete is just to get the seal. It's not to, not meant to hold the riser in. Customer wishes for it to be six inches below grade, six inches under the grass, basically. As you can see, it's uh, pretty far down there. Camera doesn't really do it justice, but uh, yeah, it's it's good. What three feet, three and a half feet deep, and I'll show you how to get that lid out. It's really heavy. It's about approximately say 125 to 150 pounds and um, I'll show you how I'm gonna get it out now a lot of people would take like a rope or some kind of a ratchet strap and then put around the put around the handles and then get on either side of the hole and pull it up that way that to me just seems really awkward if you're a strong enough guy, you can grab one, one of the handles and then drag it up. I'll show you. Now I just kind of walk back and then pull. That's it. And it's out. About 150 pounds. Maybe a little less, probably about 125. And we got our our dolly to make it a lot easier to get to the truck. And fix it on the other side of it, each side of it. Bend your knees. Grab both uh, handles. Throw it on there. It's that simple. Now there's the riser we're going to be putting in the hole. There's a hole right there can see down to the bottom of the septic tank that's a long drop so don't fall in <laughs> heard of people doing that before I'm, I'm not down lots of excess dirt I'm gonna try to get rid of as much as I can but when you uh, put that big thing in the hole kind of takes away a lot of the dirt space so he'll be left with some excess dirt that he'll have to deal with Hooray, it's starting to rain. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Let's get this done. And as you can see, we cleared a few inches on either side of the hole. So we're gonna be putting concrete around this thing to give it a nice seal so the so the water doesn't go into the tank from the ground also a nice seal really prevents the smell from coming out of the ground you don't want to smell your septic tank all the time you kind of just want to forget about it to be honest I got her a bucket for concrete I just use, I use this bucket, I use this old-fashioned stir stick, that's how I roll. Mixes the concrete just as fast as any mixer will, really. I mean, think about all the time you gotta take to like bust out the mixer bit, and, you know, then you have to clean it off. This I don't clean it off, I just bang it off and call it good. <laughs> Water. We want about two inches of water to go for one bag of quick creep.
Yeah, that's enough water. We can add more if we need it later. We got our quick seat. Start with about half a bag and stir it up real good. Put in another quarter bag in there. We'll stir that up real nice. Basically, that's it. It's easier to do with two hands. I'm kind of holding the camera, but yeah, that's pretty much the idea. There we go. It's a nice little consistency there. Now we're ready to put this around the septic riser. And my boss was kind of laughing because I throw the concrete in the passenger seat of the truck. But the reason why I do that is it's raining right now. And if I put it in the back of the truck, it get all wet. He said, uh, then just wrap it up with plastic or something. Just seems like a lot of extra effort. And honestly, by putting the concrete in the passenger seat, I'm kind of evening out the weight because I'm like about 270, 280, whatever. And I put in about 240, 240 pounds of concrete in the passenger seat. See what I mean? <laughs> uh, plus, you know, I got my, my, my tool bag and stuff. So, yeah. About the even weight. We got these black gloves. I like to use these when I mess with the concrete because I'm working with it with my bare hand, you know. Okay, we're ready. Oh yeah, and let me tell you, getting these gloves on with wet hands is really hard. Like you can see my thumb. I couldn't even get it like all the way on, but whatever. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and take a handful. And we we'll drop it down there. Kind of smash it in there like that. The whole idea of the concrete is just to get the seal. It's not to not meant to hold the riser in. Had a coworker recently thought it was, and um, I installed some risers for him, and he ripped them out of the ground and said they're not good enough. I'm like, no, the concrete's just for the seal. <laughs> it's funny. It's all good though. <sighs> Some people are taught different things or not taught everything or, you know, a lot of times in these kind of professions, they just kind of train you real quick and push you out there, throw you to the wolves, you know, <laughs> you got to kind of learn a lot of shit on your own. That's how it is. Basically, I used a whole bag of concrete. Um, it's almost overkill, but I don't like having empty bags in my truck. Or I mean bags that are partially, like have some in it. So I just used the whole thing, but generally you need about maybe three quarters of a bag for one 24 inch riser. Okay, so basically I got good coverage all the way around the riser. And it's got a nice seal all the way around it. And that's the idea of the concrete. It's the only purpose for the concrete. And we'll put the lid on here and get it level. And now I'm lucky it's raining really good now. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, you know, another day, another dollar. Basically, get that on there, nice and straight. 
Okay, it's pretty good. It's on there good. Now, we put our level on it. Want to make sure it's level. You can see it's not. So I'm gonna pull up from this side to make that bubble come to the center. There we go. Sometimes it's a real pain and you gotta cheat and shove like little rocks under. And then you're gonna have to keep that seal right. So I'm gonna get that concrete all up in there and smash it down. <coughs> gotta do what you gotta do. There you go. That's level. I know I might seem like a perfectionist because of making something level that's just gonna be buried up anyway but this is what I'm doing now it's uh, backfill time so now it's time to screw the lid on Get to my drill. It's just a little black and decker. I know it's cheap, but it's when they make you buy your own tools. It works though. 20 volt. And then we got our lid screws here. Basically, those go four screws into that lid. And you want to make sure the lid is nice and even all the way around. four screws in it it's not going nowhere it's there I'm gonna bury it and I'm gonna put this grass really nice over the top to make it look like the grass so you won't even know it's there there we go that's a little different <laughs> there we go finished product well guys, I'm all finished, all loaded up, heading to my next riser install job. This particular one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to cut it because I don't know the dimensions, so we didn't pre-cut it. So I cut on site with a skill saw, and uh, yeah, it's pretty easy. Anyway, uh, every riser is a little bit different, but it's kind of like the same concept, just how I did it today, guys. So thought I'd bring you into my world. Out here in Milton, uh, busting my ass, I'm digging basically three gaping holes because I gotta dig up these lids and I'm gonna install risers. Check this out. There's one hole, two holes, and there's one more gonna happen right there. <laughs> Look at all this damn dirt. I've been freaking working, man. There's enough dirt that like, you can almost do better with like a Backo or something or a mini I don't know shit is crazy yeah at least I'm getting my hours I'm happy with that not a bad start to the pay period Thursday is the beginning of the pay period so I'm gonna put at least at least 10 hours plus on uh, this day on today so that's a good start you know there is a chance that I might not have enough riser material to make this happen and then I'll have to go all the way back to the shop and get more material or this plumbing place called HD Fowler. I could go there, maybe get some more material. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. 
if I have to do that, it's definitely going to be a long day. Well, there we go. We got three holes dug. I just got these get these lids out of the ground. Maybe I'll measure measure see how deep those are. Hopefully, I have enough material. This is all I got. <laughs> Basically, it's a four foot piece. So I'm gonna go about 20. 20 inches maybe a little shorter I do 19 and a half that's what I'm gonna do for this hole this one I'm thinking 16 inches oh. on the high ground right here it's up to this is up to 18, so this is tricky. As you know, down here, it's like 14. <laughs> so you got to make a decision. Hmm. I think I'm going to stick with 16 inches. Hopefully that works out okay. For this side, I'm going 13. <sighs> Measurements are all over the place here. <laughs> this is not very level ground. So, let's see here. There's our 19 and a half. Right here. There's our 16. And we're short. Now I gotta see if I can play around, like shrink an inch on all of them. <laughs> and then maybe I would have enough. <sighs> Jeez. All right, I think I got something that works. 15 and a half, 12 inch, and 19. <laughs> the one that I'm making 12 inch, I thought it was 14 inch, but I took some better measurements. I went around the whole thing, and a lot of it is like close to 12 inch, so. It's going to be exactly perfect what I need. Uh, the 19 might be that, 19 and a half actually. But uh, yeah, I'm barely going to have enough to do this. So I've got to be real careful about cutting here. Not to screw anything up.
All right, made my cuts. I'm gonna pull these lids out of my way and uh, rock and roll. That's kicking ass. I get rid of these concrete lids now. <laughs> There we go. And all those concrete lids in there for the day. <laughs> Putting some weight in this little truck. All right, now I'm just gonna put some lids on them. Make sure they're level and concrete around them. This is a dead bird. I wonder how many times I stepped on that. <laughs> Okay, I got them all level, so now I'm just going to concrete them in. It's funny, someone commented on my video um, earlier. Said him, he looked at my intro, and he was laughing. He's like, oh, it's a fat Bruce Lee or something. I'm like, I ain't trying to... Oh, he said Bruce Lee wannabe or something. I'm like, I ain't trying to be Bruce Lee. The guy's like a buck ten. I'm like, Why would I ever want to be that small? Like, I'm a big guy. I meant to live big things. That's what I like. So... I don't know, it's funny. He's just trying to talk smack, really, but it's like, whatever, dude. <sighs> Probably just another 12-year-old. 
the funny thing is about that is um, pretty much any size person would be a fat Bruce Lee because <laughs> he was like a buck ten. So like anything over that would be like a fat Bruce Lee. That's funny. Okay, guys, I mixed up a whole bunch of concrete. Got them all concreted in. Here's that one, that one, and that one. Now I'm just gonna backfill and uh, screw the lids on. No idea what to do with this excess dirt. There's a lot of dirt. We're gonna have to figure this out. Problem is, is the property manager's not here. And I had kind of trouble getting a hold of her earlier, so I don't know. We'll see. Well, it's all backfilled. I've been moving the dirt, picking bucket at a time. I'm jumping it over here. <sighs> I'm really tired of this job and I want to go home. <sighs> so I want to go see my girl. I, I didn't see her yesterday. I planned on it, but she was sick and I was kind of sick. Like, I don't know, just a weird, like, nauseous feeling. Which I'm feeling kind of that way now. But I really want to go see her, so. I don't know, I'm just going to finish this up and I'm hoping to God they don't have nothing else for me. So I don't know how much more I got in me. I mean, I got to take a lunch and I could recuperate or whatever, but I really just want to, you know, see my girl. Alright guys, lids are all screwed on, dirt is gone. I bucketed it down here. Yeah. I made like freaking 30 trips my damn bucket handle keep falling off too they uh they are uh letting me come back and have my lunch and then i can probably clock out after i clean up the truck so that's cool my back is killing me honestly guys i need to rest but i gotta see my girl for a little bit like even if it's half an hour i don't know I miss her. Damn it. I, right, y'all. I'm gonna end this one. Appreciate it, y'all. Think I'm gonna go to taco time. That's what I'm gonna do. Eat some burrito classics. Well, one. One burrito classic. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Smash that like, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you on the next video. Peace out.